So, the topic that I discuss is all about the completely fair scheduler. So, the overview of my topic is CFS stands for completely fair scheduler and is a new desktop process scheduler implemented by Ingo Molnar and Burge in Linux 2.6.23. It is the replacement for the previous vanilla schedulers. Sched others interactivity code. 80% of completely fair schedulers design can be summed up in the single sentence. CFS basically model an ideal precise multitasking CPU on real hardware. And of course, ideal multitasking CPU is a non-existence. CPU that has 100% physical power and which can run each task at precise equal speed. In parallel, each at one running speed. For example, if there are two tasks running, then it runs each of 50% physical power actual in parallel. The main idea behind the com completely fair scheduler is to maintain balance, fairness in providing processor time to task. This means processes should be given a fair amount of the processor. When the time for task is out of balance, meaning that one or more tasks are not given a fair amount of time relative to others, then those out of balance tasks should be given time to execute. So, completely fair scheduler. It is a base on rotating star case deadline scheduler. It is the default scheduler process since version 2.6.23. Elegant handling of I.O. and C.P.O. bound process. The completely fair scheduler is a process scheduler that was merged into the 2.6.23 in October 2007. Release of the Linux kernel and it is the default scheduler of the task of the SCED normal class. Tasks that have no real-time execution constraint in handle CPU resource allocation of executing processes and the aim of the maximize overall CPU util utilization while also maximizing interactive performance. So as we can see, this is the process and this is the burst time in MS. So as the name suggests, it fairly or equally divide the CPU time among all the processes. Before understanding the CFS, let's look at the ideal fair scheduler on N processes. If there are N processes in the ready queue, then each process receives 100 over N percent of CPU N according to ideal fair scheduling. Let's take four processes and their burst time has shown below waiting in the ready queue for the execution. So, take a time quantum of say 4 MS. Initially, there is 4 processes waiting in the ready queue to be executed and according to ideal fair scheduling, each process get equally fair time for its ex execution. So, 4 over 4 is equal to 1. Each process get get 1 MS to execute in first quantum. After the completion of 6 quantum, process B and D are completely executed and remaining are A and C which are already executed for 6 MS and the remaining time is A is equal to 4 MS and C is equal to 8 MS. In the 7 quantum of time A and C will execute 4 over 2 is equal to 2 MS as there are only 2 process remaining. This is ideal fair scheduling in which each process get equally share of time quantum no matter what priority it is of. Below is table descript description of the IFS is so represent time quantum which is 4 MS. So CFS is similar as ideal based scheduling instead its priorities each process according to their virtual run runnable time. So, idea behind CFS is each run-able process have a virtual time associated with it in PCB process control block. Whenever a context switch happen or at every scheduling point, 
then the current running process virtual time is increased by virtual runtime and curve process plus equal t where t is time for which it is executed recently and runtime for the process therefore money monotonically increases so we have the three scheduling policies first is the sched normal traditionally called sched others the scheduling policy that is used for regular tasks second is the sched batch does not preempt nearly as often as regular tasks would thereby allowing tasks to run lower and make better use of catches but at the cost of interactivity this is well suited for batch job and the last is sked idle this is even weaker than nice 19 but it's not a true idle timer scheduler in order to avoid to get into priority in inversion problem which would deadlock the machines so you find a proc interface to manage the process her is giving you full control over how group are formed using this configuration you can assign fairness across user across processes or a variation of each so this is the completely fair scheduler group scheduling the other interesting aspect of cfs is the concept of group scheduling introduced with the 2.6.24 kernel group scheduling is another way to bring fairness to scheduling particularly in the face of tasks that spawn many other tasks consider a server that spawn many tasks to paralyze incoming connection a typical architecture for http servers and second is instead of all tasks being treated fairly uniformly cfs introduces group to account for this behavior the server process the spawn tasks share that virtual runtimes across the group in the hierarchy while the single task maintain its own independent virtual runtime in this way the single task receive really the same scheduling time as the group so is completely fair scheduler preemptive so completely fair scheduler tries to minimize context switches given their overhead time is spent on the context which is time unavailable for other tasks accordingly once a task get the processor it runs for its entire weight one over n slice before being preempted in favor of some other task so how does the completely fair scheduler work it handles cpu resources allocation for executing processes and aim to maximize overall cpu utilization while also maximizing interactive performances and this that's all thank you